Hello guys, welcome back to The Witcher 3, The Wild Hunt. Uh, let's continue. So, we are... Oh, shut up, cat. Uh, I just played an extra game, or another game with the, the scholar guy here. Well, I did it yesterday. Um, and I won the second game against him, so I gained a card. But I'm not really sure how to get um, up my deck of Gwent cards. Uh, yeah, I need to actually... Oh, right here. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, against Sultan Shive. Okay. Fine. Uh, just need to check key bindings. Uh, quick middle. Use quick now. Mm. Surface. Quick access slab consumables, draw yada yada. Okay, game menu enter. Ah, okay, so that's what I was <laughs> looking for. Alright, so I need to get to, to um, Nilfgaard, Nilfgaard camp up here, I guess. Alright, alright. Did the map... didn't it become larger or something? I think it did. But I'm not sure if there's any, like, you know, we need to hurry up there, we can... check this notice board out first. Oh. Done drinking? Mm -hmm. Then fuck off! <laughs> Don't want your kind here. <laughs> Three against one. Hmm, my, you're brave. I won't stay long. Back off. Uh. Punks. Better round up someone else to help. Three of you don't stand a chance against me. Well, I could fuck you up by myself. If I had a bag over my head and my hands tied behind. Actually, no, not even then. Chet, Lesh, back off. I'll teach this vagrant a lesson. Man on freak. Okay, so we have a fight. Time to end this. Mm -hmm. A pheasant. Oh. They're ruining the... the wood. <laughs> Where are you going, mate? Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Try to counter-attack, didn't really work. Ow. Stupid horses! No? Can you counterattack with the uh, fist fighting? Oh, you can. All right. Nice meeting you. <laughs> Fools! All right. All right. A rooster. Game saves. Your game state will automatically save when you reach certain milestones in the story. Still, you should save your progress early and often on your own. The world is full of predators, bloodthirsty beasts, bandits, and countless other dangers. Alright. I feel like the sound is too high. Uh, a bit. Let's do this. So there's something we can pick up over here. Gather. Sure. Um George Reagan. All right. The notice board is over here. Okay. Gerald has learned from experience to keep a close eye on his surroundings as he travels, for he never knows where he'll run into someone or something of interest. A damsel in distress, a merchant peddling rare wares, or a nest of pesky monsters. Such locations are marked on your map with the following icons. 
Alright. Bunch of stuff. Oh, that's a lot of things. To take it all. Looking to borrow borrow a plow. Hey lads. There are any among you can there are no. There any among you can lend me a plow. Thing is mine smashed up against a stone in my field so hard it bent halfways. And may a feet take me if I know how to fix it or plow my field without it. Rock it. I'm not really sure <laughs> that's an actual quest. Volunteers wanted. By order of Captain Peter Saar, Gwenlave, let it hereby be known that enlistment in the Imperial Army is now open. Recruits will be provided with room, board, and regular pay. Yet the greatest payment of all is the honor of serving Emhir van Emris, Dight Wayne Adden, Yen Khan Ab Modwit. Oh, Jesus. Once enlisted, recruits will be trained under the tutelage of the Empire's greatest strategist. <coughs> Recruits' family will families will be assured significant s sustenance for the entire time of their service. In the case of their death on the field of glory, they will receive a lifelong pension. Is that actually quests? Brother missing. Well, uh, let's try to take this. Did that change anything? Point of interest. As much be found in worlds dense forest and far-clad swamps. Whenever you Peruse a notice board and the question marks will appear on your minimap to indicate potential interesting places. Seek them out, so you can learn what secrets they hold. World map. Backspace. Uh, jump to a current objective, press tab. Scroll the map. Okay, I think we already had this. Your current location is Yada, and uh, they're marked with an exclamation mark. Uh, by pressing B, world map down here, decrease and increase size. Okay, that's a lot of question marks. <laughs> we have two quests here. Okay, one and that notice board, obviously. Okay. Did we gain a quest from taking that thing? No. What happens if I take this one as well? Can I join the Imperial Army? I don't think that so. Is it's quest queue. Whoops. No. That's the... Right. <laughs> that thing. Um, what the hell is quests? Oh well. No. Still nothing. Wanted deserter. Last night a soldier fled from the army camp under cover of darkness. The wanted man, a recruit who's recently joined his Imperial Majesty's service, goes by the name of Odrin. He claimed to be Cadweni of by birth, but said King Henstel's misrule had convinced him to join the Imperial Army. He was part of the said inst institution for a mere two days, but managed to eat and drink enough in that time for the entire re regiment of dragoons. Anyone with information about his deserter's pres this deserter's presence location is to report to the garrison at once. Description. Modest stature, wiry, with thinning hair. He fled in his undergarments by squeezing out through the latrine's drainage system and probably thus reeks like an old boa. Characteristics marks can be easily recognized by his voice, which has the telltale raps of a hardened alcoholic. Anyone found providing shelter or sustenance to this asserter will be subjecti subjected to the summary court-martial. Okay. The new order. This Thursday, all peasants living nearby are invited to come to come listen to Captain Peter Saar, Gwenlev, speak on the subject of law soon to be introduced in these lands by writ of our most gracious sovereign, Emhir van Emreis. Attendance is not uh, obligatory, but every resident of White, Ho White Orchard should partake of this opportunity to learn what rights they will enjoy and duties they will have under the new order. Good folk, you no longer live in a barbarous land where every man does as he see f sees fit. You are now part of the great empire of Nilfgaard. Nilfgaardian law now protects you, yet it also d ascribes your new obligations. Imperial forces have brought you the torch of enlightenment. Grab hold of it, and your dark age shall soon give way to a bright new era. Brother missing. 
Sebastian, my brother, went off to fight the Black Ones. I have reason to think he stood in the great battle nearby. He's not returned to this day, like many others, you'll say, and you'll be in the right. But if he fell, and I know it's like he did, and I know it is like he did, I'd give him up to the ground the least. What? Like a father have done always. I'll bury him neath the barrow where our parents lie, and I'll leave his corpse to be eaten, to be ate by the corpses prowling the battleground. If I seek a man brave, if I seek a man brave, able with a sword and willing to venture out with me to find Bastion, I won't pay much, for I've not much to give, but I'm not stingy with gratitude and sure to show it a plenty. Any man willing to help, look for a raised hut along the road to White Orchard, just near the bridge, I made camp there. Dune Wildbird. <laughs> show my gratitude plenty. Is that like uh, <coughs> the naughty things? Okay. Contract. Oh, there's a contract, I guess. Devil by the well. Good folk. I know there's a war on and every man's got trouble enough of his own, but perhaps there's one of you who could help a father in need. You all surely know the well in a ruined village and the devil that guards it with a jealous fury. And if you don't know, well don't if you don't know, well, come ask and I'll tell you all about it. Whatever whoever drives that monster away from the well will get a fat purse full of gold, just don't tarry. For it is an urgent matter, Odalan. Brother missing. Uh, that's something we just read. Contract at the well. Brother missing. Oh, did we get two uh, quests here? Mission in action. Uh, you can place your own markers on the map. Do so, move them and uh, press right mouse key. Okay. To place special markers, hold, then release it and use the mouse to select the type of marker you want. Confirm your selection by pressing left mouse key. Uh, you can only place one default marker uh, okay, at the time, but you can place up to 10 total of the special markers skull, triangle, and exclamation mark. Oh, that's with the brother, right? think so. Okay, uh, well, let's check this quest here down first. Uh, down here, or up here. <laughs> oh, he sounds mad. What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Hmm. Uh, well, he's probably frustrated, so let's not make him even more frustrated. I'm sorry. Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to serve as their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That's what I think. <sighs> Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. Uh, I can find your arsonist for a price. Well, good luck. All right, I'll find it. Doesn't seem fair to burn down his house. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. Okay. Twisted fire starter. Use your winter se witcher senses to look around. Look behind the forge for clues. Okay, behind. Damn. His stuff. What did we stealing? 
Worn leather pelt. No? Okay. Point of interest. Hidden treasure, dungeon, place of power, abandoned camp, bandit camp, monster den, smuggler's cache. Okay. Oh, it's a uh, grindstone, right? Your items have been enhanced. Oh, okay. Use special grindstones to temporarily enhance your weapons. Do so grants a bonus to the damage Geralt deal by your weapon. Ah, doing so grants a bonus to the damage dealt by your weapons. Alright. Well, I guess we're going over here. How do you walk? Oh, what's this? Ingredients. Uh, you had footsteps. I don't see any footsteps. Oh, oh, there we are. Right? Yeah. All right. Shavings from a tinderbox. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. Bootprints. A man's. Large. Okay. Whoa. Stinks of piss and vodka. Ma large man, drunk. Okay. It's also a save, just to be sure. Right, that's where we came from, right? Oh, I bet it's someone who won that tower, right? <laughs> Come on. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Mm-hmm. Fishing rod, fishing net, orange. Sure. This little guardian, maybe. Yes. Oh. Ah, someone's not wearing pants. Poor and mm -hmm. dark and putrid. No. Yeah. I have my eye on you, Nordling. Mm. None of these guys. Can I climb up here? Okay. Yes. What do you want, Wanderer? Uh. No. Okay, none of these guys. I'm also outside the actual circle here. So he went, took off his boots. Oh, could it be that guy over there? Ah. Well, depends. Peasant. Welcome to our shit hole. What's this blow ball? Uh, that's a kid. That's outside the circle. Am I missing something? Maybe I should use this. Maybe. Mm, he's not dead under this bridge, no? Oh, here we go. Should we draw it or no? Gotta make the soup out of something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Sure to be poison. Sure. Lost his boots in the rush. Okay. Not on your life. Tracks lead back to the village. Ah, okay. Going back then. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. Devil sits in the old oak tree. Mm. 
Okay. What, mate? <laughs> God, this chalky. Okay. I like this. Uh, this life there is in this village. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Hello? No? I wonder if this is stealing. Would it be stealing? No idea. Uh huh. Loot. Not sure if this is good or bad. Taking random stuff. Water. Let's save, and then try and take this stuff. See if, he, if she gets mad. No. Black magic doll. Nah. Well, sure. Okay, I'm not sure if I need all this stuff. Oh, here we go. Drowner claw marks. It's gotta be him. Nap! You're under arrest. Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I ought talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? <coughs> Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Uh, no chance, you're coming with me. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll... Beat your fucking mug to a pulp! <laughs> Calm down and come with me. Calm down. Now follow me. <laughs> I guess that's better than... Oh, he's slow. I gotta... Apologize. Gotta go. Apologize. Jesus Christ, you're slow. The cozy little village. Where the hell is the dwarf? Over here? Uh. Wait, what? Where's my mouse? What? Oh, uh, to change... To change the active filter, click the dots, markers, whatever. Turn off specific icons with the filter. Filter. Okay. Can select the map. Okay. Right. We have to go over there. Looking for trouble. Oh God, you're slow. <laughs> Boydemar, will you raise a glass with me? It's Durban now. D E R V A. No, he changed his name. What? Come on, Nap. What do you mean? I know what they named you at your cutting. Kings do the what fighting. What name is that anyway? Durban. Bah, the do the dying. My gran was from Nazaire. Oh, so that's how it is. Then by my leave, Master Durban, may the gold sun guide you far away from my land. Okay. <laughs> it's raining, it's pouring, and burning, it's snoring. He bumped Christ, that nap is slow. Oh, poor kid. 
Well, you shouldn't disrespect him here, von M. Rice, the most gracious sovereign. Oh, and Nap, could you just hurry up, please? I think those plums are wreaking havoc on my gut. Mm. That's just it. So many chit chat going around. Oh, come on. There we go. Up and at him. Hmm? What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you, I, 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 I was drunk, didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Oh. Just a tree. Oh, he's getting killed. Oh. Did thought that. <laughs> That's a uh, harsh punishment. Harsh as punishment goes. But deserved. You know, I hated the black ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. Hmm. And I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. What was that 20 gold crowns? Experience. We got what? A bunch of food and drinks. What's this? Everl's magic item. Oh. Five seconds effect duration okay other this is simple oh orange wait what we don't use orange anymore what the hell do we use hmm worn can be sold okay a bunch of junk Crafting, venom extract, a bunch of stuff, right? Do we have encumbrance, actually? Oh, right here. I see. Well, I guess we could sell... Vivaldi Bank in Novigrad. Okay, I guess we can sell these things. Uh, okay. Let's talk to Willis again. Can he sell Another stuff? Customer. Welcome. What can I do for you this time? Show me your wares. Need to craft something for me? Oh, craft. What's that? I'd like you to forge something for me. On the left side of the screen, a list of crafting diagrams in your possession. Click on the category or diagram to select it. Okay. On the right side of the screen is detailed description of the currently selected item. The center of the screen shows the components need to create this item. Craftsmen need to eat too. To have them craft an item, you must pay them for their service. If you have the required coin, press enter to craft the current selected diagram. You need to find a craftsman with the right speciality, armor, blacksmith, etc. For the type of item you wish to craft and with enough skill to craft an item of its quality. Some items can be dis dismantled in order to obtain new crafting components. To dismantle an item, go to the craftsman and use the dismantle panel. Okay. Remove upgrade. Dismantle. Leather scraps, wax, monster blood, ghoul's blood. Oh, okay. Fiber. Do we want to dismantle or do we want to sell? Shop. Oh, he doesn't. Cannot be sold. Oh. Well, maybe not to him, I suppose. Oh. Uh. Wait, what? Crafting. Didn't we already do this? Uh, if a craftsman has an opponent you're missing, you can buy it immediately, select the item, and press right left click. Okay. 
So we can make this... Is it better than what I'm wearing? Oh, I guess... This is the... Um, the bonus I get. Well, let's see. Uh, repair... Space, repair equipped, 32. Oh, that's expensive. Three. Okay. Hmm. Where was it again? Here. So if I oh buy buy. Oh, I didn't have any of that. Well, leather scraps. Didn't we have that? Yeah, but only one. I need to find cured leather wire. We can make the warrior's leather jacket. Cured leather. Oh, we need four of those. Okay. Junk. Head. We can't buy it, but that's a lot of gold, isn't it? Mm, does seem like a big improvement. 15 armor. Uh, farewell. So long. Uh, so that poor guy got. Don't you look at me. Uh, did, he, did he get hanged or something? Mm, not sure. Anyways, let's see uh, here. We have quest up there. We have quest. Wasn't it down here? Couldn't you like? What's this? General. Oh. Buffs. Ah, I see. Oh, world map. Royal Palace of this in Vesima, White Orchard. Velen, No Man's Land, Novigrad. Um. Uh, which a contract? Devil by the Well. Ask Odelin. Uh, in White Orchard, Geralt happened across a notice posted by a certain Odelan residing in the village. The man wanted someone to take out the monster who was haunting the area around the old well, and doing so required a professional. This was a typical. This was as typical of Witcher work as they come, so Geralt decided to talk to the man. Okay, let's do that. Uh, glossary. Wait, what? Uh. Ah, okay, books. Brother missing. We already read this, right? Yeah. Okay. Characters. We read about Cyrilla. So let's actually read about Dandelion. Dandelion. I would wager anyone that you, dear reader, are a person of culture and taste, and therefore already familiar with me, Dandelion, and the role I am to play in the following tale. Nevertheless, allow me to sketch a few lines by way of self-portrait, for the sake of thoroughness and in the event you have spent much of the last half century in some dark corner where the light of my star has yet to reach. I remember Dandelion from Witcher 2 or 1 or both, I can't remember. But he has been the former uh, Witcher's games. Born in 1229, a talented, a talented poet and troubadour, a graduate of Oxenford Academy, a frequent performer at royal courts, and an equal lover appreciated, and in some cases adored, by ladies worldwide, a skilled negotiator and a stirring orator. Such is the image of the bard Dandelion as painted by his friends and promoters. This image is, of course, somewhat overbright in its colouring, I personally prefer to think of myself as a dedicated artist in thrall to his muse, one whose work has benefited Im immeasurably from the fact that I was, am, and forever will remain a close friend and steadfast companion to the Witcher Gerald. It is his fate I chronicle in this present work and his story which I shall sing till the end of my days. Okay, let's also read Eskel. We'll, re we'll read a couple every episode until we're done. Eskel. All witches have a great common, has a great deal in common, but with Eskel and Gerald, the similarities are particularly striking. 
They first met as two boys of the same age, swinging wooden swords at Kea Morin. They then went through an, or an or ordeal together, the first round of selections, the murderous changes, the trial of the grasses, and training on the gauntlet. The witch's daunting obstacle courses. Uh, the, the witch's daunting obstacle course. They also received hidings together for more than one act of childish uh, delinquency. When they became adults, they walked the path separately, but still convened at Kaer Morin nearly every winter to wait out the cold, drink to their successes, and remember fallen comrades. Though Eskel never gained Jarl's renown, he equaled the White Wolf in experience and carried out his contracts with care and efficiency. Death had almost taken him many times during his hunts, yet in an ironic twist the hideous scars on his face came not from a monster's claw, but from the blade of Daedre Adamion, his highly unpredictable, unexpected child. Okay. Cool. So where's this Ortelon? Oh, you're chilling... okay, over there. Got a lump of bread today! Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hmm... Nothing. Knock knock. Loot! Not sure <laughs> if this is good or bad, but uh... Oh well. Oh, oh that's a lot. Isn't this stealing? It's not. It feels wrong. Hello. Greetings, good man. Having trouble with your well? That's what I read. Aye. Tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why'd you put out a notice just now? Because earlier on we drew our water from the river, but so many corpses floating in it after the battle it's turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher, felt dreadful ill, can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink, and not beer nor cider, but water, clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. And it, don't let any man near. Okay, uh, describe the ghost. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening. Awful. I meant, what does it look like? It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, oh, nasty. skin flaking off its bones, and it howls. Like it's suffering. Some wraith. Or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master. If you don't take care of it, that is. It'll come kill me daughter. Kill your daughter? Why? Uh, let's talk about my reward. I'll help you. Let's talk about my reward. I feel for you. But this is my job. So let's talk about my pay. Something not right with the coin. Oh, heckling. Oh. To haggle for high reward, choose an amount using the mouse and confirm by clicking the left mouse button. If your counterparty accepts your offer, you made a deal. If your offer is too high, your counterparty will grow annoyed, push too hard, and he or she will break off negotiations. Okay. Let's just do this. That settles it then. Alright. Oh, okay. I'll help. Well, I'll help you then. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now. No one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. Hmm. Alright. Alright. Is Oh, the door is in here. No reaction? No? That's odd. Farmer's wife, girl. She's a fever, has fainting spells. She, she's in a bad way, Master. A bad way. Mm, poor girl. All 
All right. Uh, well, let me just check the time here. Okay. No, I didn't stop. Good. Uh, we'll play another, I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Right, so, how far is that well? Oh, that's far away. Okay, I guess we need a uh, roach, right? Roach is X. Oh, there we are. So we can freak, gallop, hold. Okay, it's up here. All right, it says on the map actually where we need to go. Find the spirit that haunts the well. Mm, okay, cross country. Oh, this game looks so good. Guess it's in here. Come on. Whoa. Uh, save. We don't. Uh, did we get a glossary about um, that wraith or whatever it was? Easter area. No. Okay, hmm. we saved. So Q is yeah. Are we full health? I think we are. Is it hostile? The infamous well. The moon wraith. Wonder what it's doing here. Read the entry about moon wraith in the beast area. Oh here we go. Spectres, Devil in the Well, Noon Wraith. Okay, they are the same. The residents of White Orchard have suffered more than their fair share of misfortune. Passing armies had trampled their spring planting, a griffin had begun adopting their livestock, and the rotting icing on this painful cake, <laughs> a Noon Wraith haunted a nearby well. No wonder the locals called this final evil a devil. The Witcher could sense... Oh, it looks ugly. Could sense something bound her to this place, and that in order to send her off into the ethereal realms, he would first need to learn her secret. Once that was done, he would have to prepare for battle. And a noon wraith is a demanding opponent. She can disorient her victi victims by blinding him and creating mirror images of herself. These copies slowly suck the victim's life energy, while their mistress remains untouchable. In order to defeat her, the witcher could not rely on his silver sword alone. The Jordan sign would be needed to trap her and force her to take on material form. Okay. Spectre oil. Moon dust. Okay. Okay, they're the same. Right. Well, in terms of how you fight them. Despite what is common, commonly thought, peasants do not interrupt their labors at midday to get out of the sun. They do so to avoid noon wraith. Blood Raymond, peasants and their customs. On particularly searing summer days, when the sun reaches its zenith, 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 wraith will at times appear, resembling sun-scorched women dressed in long white robes. These are noon wraith, the spirits of young, w uh, young women and girls who died a violent death right before their wedding. Driven mad with pain or anger, they wander the field searching for their unfaithful lovers or backstabbing rivals, though they will kill anyone who does not get out of their way in time. They are often held in this world by some object of intense emotional significance. That is why, if one ever finds a wedding ring or torn veil in the middle of a field, one should not pick it up, but instead back away as quickly as possible. Something's tied the Noon Wraith to this place. An object. Something she needs before she'll leave this world. Okay. Is she just gonna float around there? I remember from uh, Witcher 2 and 1 that not all monsters are evil, per se, but... Oh, gold hide. I sure will take stuff. Okay. Hmm... 
anything? Nope. Find out what binds the Noon Wraith to the ruined village. Over here. No. Oh, red stuff. Examine. A man, stabbed with a knife, died on the spot. Animals fed on his body, picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there, but it's not his blood. Updated. A journal might be useful. Uh, twenty-seven of the third, third. I don't know. Twelve fifty. It happened. Volker sent a petition of our grievances against the Lord to the court of Isima. Listen all the harm he's done us. Mr. Lord, okay. And we killed Johan for not taking off his cap quick enough. How we trampled our fields, went drunk with a nary a thought of repayment. How we barged in during Pi Peter's wedding and demanded his right of the first night. And now we finally got what we begged Melitella for in our prayers for so long. The judge recognized our grievances and waived all our bounds and duties to the Lord. We can finally strike out on our own. At last we can live as free men. The 12th of the 4th, or something like that. 12.50, or what? 15 days later? Later. The first days, the first day of our freedom. Hovel's not much of a village yet, but to my mind it's better than the most than the most fantastic palaces. Palace. Volker fumed, fumed our home with hazel wood, smoke to drive out evil, buried a Martin under the gate to make sure no thieves cross our threshold, and then he gave me a bracelet, loveliest I've ever seen. Mother said it's foolish to spend so much on a bauble when we have where we haven't plows nor ho hose, and that we ought return it to the merchant over my dead body. I'll never take it off. It'll always be there to remind me of Volker, of how happy we were that day. Okay, so it's a female diary. Maybe this is the Wraith's diary. Twenty uh, third of the fourth. So, eleven days later. They say the Lord is coming to see us, that he wants to make a deal, to beg us to return to the village. They say he, c they say he calmed since his son died, that he's not as quick to anger about small slights. Well, we'll see. One way or another, I've no intention of moving one inch from here. That bracelet might be what ties the woman's spirit to this place. Mm. No. Uh, quest, it got updated. Right, with uh, this text, I think, right? Malicious beings usually haunt the ruins of castles, fortresses, or at last resorts, towers. The Wraith of White Orchard, however, chose a much more quotidian, quotidian site for its haunting, a well. A White Orchard peasant by the name of Odolin wanted someone to chase off the Phantom, and Geralt accepted the job. No, was that the update? Hmm. Maybe. Blood stains, barely visible. Someone was dragged this way. Someone who was still alive. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Palm prints in blood. Small hands. A woman's. Someone dragged her out. She was wounded. Fought for her life. No body in sight, but might still find some tracks. Under the right conditions, bloodstains can remain visible for decades. Another print by the well. Mm. I bet the that dude over there is Volker. And the one who stabbed Volker was probably the Lord, who got mad and then killed the woman or something. Another print by the well. Won't that lady get mad? If I go in there. Well, woman, Wraith. Loot! Loot! Anything over here? No? Whoops. Mm. The Jürgen sign. 
That's here, okay. Just in case. <laughs> that the Wraith attacks us. Ladder, okay. Oh, more stuff. Another platter. Anything else? Uh, well, something over there. Can we get through here? Oh, uh, let's see here. Ah, smart. Smoking pipe. <laughs> and over here, water. Uh, let's find that Jordan sign again. So I'm not really sure how mad the wraith will be. Let me just take the time here. Okay. Uh, how is it to fight? Uh, silver sword. That's a two, right? Yeah. You can also sheath it by just pressing two again or C, right? Yep. And old is. Dodging, okay, can't dodge right now. And moving and spacing, that's rolling. All right, let's. Uh, whoops. Whoa, got too close. But how am I supposed to uh, come? Oh shit! Engage. <laughs> this mushrooms noon wraith won't stray too far from the well she'll be back on the morrow ah, examine blood stains almost faded but the lines taut something's not right a corpse hanged by the bucket rope oh Woman. woman the journal belonged to must be wide pelvis small jaw a woman around 30 judging by the teeth left arms missing need to cremate the remains gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do though was she wearing the bracelet from her husband might be why her arm fell off. Gotta jump down there. Hope I don't break my legs. Okay. Uh. Wide pelvis. Oh, already thought that. Need to cremate the remains. Gotta find the object that. Wish. Gotta jump down there. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Uh. Well. How do we go down there? Like that, I suppose. Uh, hold lifting. Okay. <coughs> mm. We can dive. Take. Oh, her arm. I guess. Right. over here mushrooms mushrooms can we get up here no mm. oh over here I guess lucky not to come up empty-handed 
bracelet with an inscription to Claire from Volker. Bracelet must have belonged to the woman in the well. Lovely craftsmanship, but I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the noon wraith for good. Better do it near the well. All right. Um, what's here? Mushrooms. Top wall. I guess we have to dive. Arura. No. Oh, I hate water. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Anything down here? Mm. No. Getting some air. Diving again. Guess you can't like swim faster underwater. Oh wait, you can. Never mind. to fight the wraith and light a fire near yeah, the well. Well, it's getting late. Should the wraith still be around? For this fight. Brew some wraith oil. Drink some potions. Drink some potions. Drink some potions. Uh... Moon dust, spectre oil. Moon, no. Uh, what do we have here? Lesser glyph of art. Okay. I see. Use for repairing. Hmm. Quest items. Oh, Jesus. How do you make potions? I forgot. Um, alchemy, probably here. <laughs> oil, spectre oil. We need what? Arenaria. Against spectres, okay. Potions. Grant sight in total darkness. Swallow. Accelerate vitality regeneration. White honey. Uh, necrophage. Pin. Okay. So, that should appear on our map or nearby or what? Should we try without actually taking that stuff? Mm. Maybe. Hair. Oh. Kill the hair. Oh, okay. Then don't. So if I save now and look at the time, right, one hour roughly. All right, so uh, I'll actually cut the episode here, and the next episode we'll try and fight this moon wraith. Uh, maybe we can do it without the spectre oil. Maybe not. Uh, we'll see. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you enjoyed this content. I very much appreciate your support. And I hope until next time. Bye.